I first started getting um, some symptoms that were odd when I was in my mid-20s. I would have things like my fingertips would go numb or I'd feel like a weird um, tingling sensation in my thigh. Um, and I didn't get diagnosed though till I was 27, so that was in 2002. And I, I can't say that things have necessarily progressively gotten worse. Um, I think I've had a little bit of muscle spasticity in my calf that's gotten worse, but most of my symptoms have been pretty even. So when I was first um, diagnosed in 2002, I had pretty severe foot drop, which resolved after about six weeks. But I didn't realize that I had this residual weakness in my um, dorsiflexors of my ankle. And so over time, that turned into um, a little pronation of my ankle joint, which caused some knee pain, which ultimately caused some piriformis syndrome and some hip pain. And then all of these pain syndromes actually made me walk less. And then when you walk less, then you get more weakness, so it's harder to walk more. And then in MS, when you have weakness, you often get spasticity as um, a, a problem that goes right along with weakness. Um, actually, when I was first diagnosed with MS, I didn't even know what Pilates was more than um, I had taken a class or two at the gym. Um, I was actually working in television. Um, I was a TV producer, and then I was working as a creative director in um, large events, like working on the Olympics and, and things of that nature. And um, I ended up doing Pilates for just my own self-care. I did a lot of Pilates and yoga. And I just got to the point in my other career where I stopped caring about it as much. And I really love teaching. And when it came, um, when the opportunity came up that I could teach full time, it just made sense for me to move into something that I was more passionate about rather than something that, you know, was something that was a really fun job. I just didn't have the passion for it that I had originally. I think Pilates is really a very special exercise form because it focuses on proper alignment, the correct muscle recruitment, so knowing what to fire when in movement. Um, it works on strength, which is something that you can lose with MS, and it also works on flexibility and balance, which are other things that you can lose with MS. 